Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one right here is for Kobe Kai, Season 5, Episode Number 4. Don't forget to like and subscribe, people. You already know. Uh, just one comment from last episode from executive producer Jeremy, who says, I thought this was a good episode. Johnny really had a meltdown in this episode, which was funny, but also helped him realize he's ready to be a dad. It also helped him clean up his place and get rid of all the spoiled food and meat in his fridge, as well as all the bugs, which definitely needed to happen. But freaking facts. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it took waiting to hear that you're pregnant with a baby to want to clean up your shit, but good for him. Also, how is Johnny still alive, just breathing in all that pesticide and paint thinner without a care? Is that how he lives his life? It was great to see Mike Barnes back, and I like that they showed that some people actually moved on from karate in their lives. Silver, Silver really is a psycho. I thought Crease was bad, burning down a building. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, what's next? Murder? That was a joke. Silver? That was a joke. He'll do it, but he'll blame it on somebody else for another agenda. Mm -hmm. That guy's crazy. Um, I don't always like when couples on a show do the breakup, get back together, break up again stuff, but I think Sam and Miguel breaking up was for the best. I've said it a few times, she's not alright. I'm glad she's going to try to figure herself out. Again, though, this, um, this is this show and a lot of shows, honestly, allergic to therapy. Great reaction. I look forward to the next one. It's like it's in their contract that they can't say the word therapy <laughs> or something, because they avoid it at all costs. Allergic to the word therapy. Yeah. Alright, let's get to the next episode for right now. <laughs> hey, Johnny, um, could you help me with something? Oh, because he's there right across the hall. I'm here for whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> Is he dreaming? Yeah, yeah, he's dreaming. Yeah. Sorry, can you help me with something? Does he just dream in the 80s? Like, he can't. Yeah, yeah. He can only dream in the 80s, right? He's been on here. I know, but Still giving you one passes. star for touching my food. Join the club, man. Join the club, man. because of me, but I just wanted you there because I thought it would help you. It did. I know that's what you think, but you have to trust me. I know this is you. What are you going to do about it? I'm not going to strike first if that's what you think. You know, the balls to anyone. That's true. say to Ava about my wife? What did I say? Yeah. Oh. Yes. I told her she's a phony. Oh, he's just playing, so he's like a him out like an mm -hmm. idiot, babe. Who should never be trusted? Oh. You just broke my $30,000 bonsai trees? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I did you. not push him that hard. He's making me look like a bad that guy. Hard. He's the one attacking my family. He just said all these lies about my wife to Miss Garcia. Actually, he spoke quite highly See, of her. You're an idiot. He did what? He told me how respected your wife is in the community, how your whole family is. Or Daniel. was. Is this your fucking reason? She won't flex today. She ain't even on her heels. Amanda, wait. 
Maybe wear a nice dress and then come with flats on. She didn't want to be taller than her husband, probably. Hey, can you hear me? I'm calling from my car phone. Yes, I can hear you, and no one calls it a car phone. <laughs> I'm calling from my car phone. Listen, about Robbie. I want him to come stay with me this summer. Or I'll do whatever I have to to make it work. Are you sure you can handle that? It's what I should have done for him and you a long time ago. I quit too many jobs over the years because I didn't like them. Instead of considering what's best for all of us. I wasn't man enough oh, to know it. Oh, he took a little advice but from I the guy. I do now. I'm sorry I suck, Shannon. It's okay, Johnny. We were both young and dumb. Well, she was a hot mess. I'm glad that Robbie Remember, gets to stay here now and um, see this side of you. Therapy? I won't let him die. That and, um, I was actually about to go pick him up What's the, the shit you would do to get clean if up a drug? If you want to go tell him the news. Hey. Hell yeah. No, like you go to a place. Oh, rehab. Rehab, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Whoa, 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 dude. Did you just miss my stop? Crap. <laughs> Hold on. I'll meet you at a puddle turn. This really sucks. Jesus Christ, they kicked us out. This is exactly what happens when Cobra Kai's involved. Everybody loses. Are you trying to blame me for us getting kicked out? I was trying to stop the fight, not start one. I know you won the tournament. Everything's going good for you right now. But by defending them, you're part of the problem. I was just hoping that we could have a fun day together. But I guess that's impossible. It's only impossible if you're still in Cobra Kai. So stay in with me. Well, I'm not leaving Cobra Kai. Well, then I guess that's it. You and Kenny and everyone else can stay brainwashed, but I'm done trying to. Hey, do you guys know where Sam went? Oh, she split on her own. She didn't want anything to do with all this drama. Yeah, neither did I. Uh, catch up. Go ahead, I'll catch up. I'm gonna get into some more drama. They just said I didn't want to get into drama, yeah. but I'm gonna create drama by starting some drama. <laughs> I could have sworn since they said you were out of Cobra Kai. I'm not in Cobra Kai. Hey, you're on their side every time they start fighting. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Look, I know you think just because you came down to Mexico that you think you're a good guy. Well, guess what? You're not. Well, look who's talking. Unless you're clear about one thing, I ain't come down to Mexico for you. Nobody asked you to go anywhere. Hey, hey! Stop it. I want you guys to get along. We're all friends now. No! We're not friends. We never will be. Teenagers. That was totally Miguel's fault, though. Good time to propose to her. Nice reading the situation. Oh, no, we're cold. Never. Amanda, that is not what happened. We're on the sidewalk. Let me see you. That's all Silver's fault. He was messing with me the whole time. And you let him. You knew how important this was to me. And yet you could not, one day, put the stupid rivalry aside. I'm afraid we're never going to have normalcy ever again. Not when you continue to stir up these ridiculous fights. Fight it, run it to storm. My fault, not his. Now please, blame me. You had a fight at a furniture store? Uh, enough is enough. Daniel, this ends now. This is exactly what Silver wanted to happen. He manipulated this whole thing to get us to fight. Do you hear yourself? The reason we're fighting is because you can't let things go. You promised things would be different this time. You don't understand what this man is capable of. He won't stop until he's ruined every aspect of my life, and that's why I have to take him down. You really won't stop. You need to let me and Chosen handle this. It's the only way to make it all end. Fine. Handle it. I won't be here for you. Mm. you what are you going to do? Away from you. Away from you. You just need space. I'm taking the kids with you. Well, we do have some things. Over, uh, you know, I mean, he just got played beautifully. Like, very totally manipulated. That was super. All right, that was episode four of uh, Cobra Cat. Man, things are heating up big time. And I ain't just talking about California summer. All right. Uh, things got wet and crazy and wild at the pool. Wet um, and wild. Wet and wild. I should say wet and wild. Could have. That messed up the word. Start uh, over. No, <laughs> got a little cray cray at the pool. Um. Me and Bay both was dumbly thinking that they were going to fight down the slide, a, a slinky slide. I definitely just, didn't think they were just going to They were just going to tube race. down there. They, they just tube down it, and, and somebody bit his tube and, and made it leak, and that's that why cheating. it didn't work. That was cheating. Now, I can be honest with you. If you ever tubed down a pool. If you ever did what? If you ever tube slide down Same a pool, you just, you, look, it doesn't work all the time unless you're heavy. And both of these people look like they about a, they about a buck five soaking wet. 
And so I don't really think the pool thing will work. I mean, the, the tube. So whatever. Uh, yeah, that was just crazy. And why are we fighting everywhere we go on site? It's just becoming ridiculous at this point. And then Miguel and... and um, uh, Robbie. Robbie not getting along. After they just fucking drove back, being cool, chilling together. It's, it's just ridiculous. The funniest part about the whole thing, though, is Johnny trying to be a damn Uber driver and a damn... Um, Right here. Yeah, that was funny. So, uh, but then at the same time, you got on there. Silver is just being just super villain isk all day long. I think he's probably gonna be more super villain than Crease, right? Because Crease ain't have these damn assets. He wasn't that suave. Yeah, he ain't have as many as many um, um, resources. Capable, resources. There you go to damn make things happen the way that they're gonna happen. And now uh, 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 Silver is playing the damn long game. Right, the mental, psychological game, and that warfare right there goes a long way, and it worked. Today he got a W. He wasted thirty thousand dollars for the W, but he still got a W. His wife is. He married. got two Ws. He fucked up Larusso's wife, mm -hmm. and he made Larusso knock over his own bonsai tree. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, that was thirty thousand dollars. But I'm, just, but I'm just saying, he got two. Like yeah, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't mess with yeah. the tree. So yeah. it's all you. He honestly probably don't give a fuck about thirty thousand dollars, and so uh, this was just so good. He's giggling all the way back. All right, um, this is gonna be a good week for him. And so how are we gonna get? How are we gonna get his wife back on the side of this whole thing? I don't know. Unless unless Silver just do something so crazy that he just piss his wife off again and be like, "Yes, baby, take him down." But right now, I don't see how this is gonna go. Other than Russo is just he's just on a mission, a blind mission. To self destruction. Be careful. It's a daily path. I'm done. Um, no, I thought this was a great episode. I have to say, overall, this season is so much easier to watch than last season because I was so annoyed every episode last season. Um, I think the fact that Miguel and Robbie, although they're still at odds, um, is frustrating, especially when it's something as simplistic as not even asking a question, just making an assumption, which is always frustrating to watch because Miguel could have just asked him like I, yo I thought you were out like why are you and that could have been resolved in a conversation but because they've been at odds so long it makes sense that they have their guards up so I'm not necessarily annoyed with that I think they're going to get to a place where they communicate and resolve their issues especially because uh Johnny's in such a place of trying to get to stability he's not going to create more instability just because of who Johnny is um, Johnny to me is my favorite character on the entire show, honestly. Like, he brings the, the biggest comedic, uh, relief, I think. And I think he's just so consistent in who his character is, um, that he probably gets a lot of passes from me, too, just because he's my favorite. But I loved everything about the technology, yet again. Uh, the, the nerd squad coming through, him thanking him for being a nerd. Uh, all of that just worked for me. It's very entertaining. Um, and I thought it was great to utilize a character we've only seen in like small uh small bites bite-sized pieces um be a person that unlocks like a motivation and inspiration to johnny through the the pawn shop owner which i think that's a perfect example of having a character that just shows up once in a while but packs a big punch versus the guy at the pool who was really not that was not good it was corny as hell but that's okay we're not gonna see a lot of him because they already kicked people off of the pool they're not gonna come back to that place um but all in all, I thought I thought it was a solid episode. I really thought for a second Tori was gonna feel a certain way or have a flashback once they called uh, Cobra Kai out for cheating yet again, and like it didn't really feel like it landed. And then especially when she was like, "I'm not gonna leave Cobra Kai for anything." Um, so I'm not sure if that's gonna come up again. But I thought that was a perfect opportunity to be like, "Is there a trend with Cobra Kai being cheaters?" And do I not care about it? But it didn't come up with that way. And then lastly, I don't like to give MVP awards to villains. But when you execute a str strategy as well and as manipulative as Silver did this episode, I'm sorry he deserves the MVP villain award. Uh, because that he, that was smooth. He had, That was all like charismatic manipulation. He killed that in... Uh, he, uh, Daniel was a perfect person to do that too because he's so reactionary and like his reaction was exactly what you would expect from Daniel in that in that, uh, in that situation. Oh um, and Silver clearly knows 
who Daniel is. So I'm very interested to see how they potentially get the upper hand. I feel like Silver's going to be a tough one to knock down. I think he's several steps ahead. He, I don't know. I don't know what his weakness is because he already addressed what his weakness was. It was Crease. He put Crease. Oh, they probably have to get Crease out of jail. That's what they're going to have to do because yeah. he already he already articulated his only yeah. weakness is Crease. Yeah. So all that to say, really enjoying this season, really enjoying this episode, and I can't wait to see where it goes from here. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Cobra Cast Season 5, Episode Number 4. And until next time.